Hello and welcome to episode 20, part 1 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on um, guard towers. Uh, we're going to talk a little about guard towers and we're going to start to build one. Now with this episode I, I had to think about this because this is going to be our first major construction. There's going to be lots of major constructions in the future as this episode progresses. And uh, for the, those of you that asked about boats, yes, I'm going to build every single different type of boat that you can build. We'll start with the smallest one and work our way up. But, of course, there's hardly any trees that we have at the moment. So. Uh, Rainstorm's been very fantastic, she's planted loads, but we still haven't got enough. We'll, when you get onto building boats and other big structures that are made of wood, you're going you, you're gonna to go through a lot of trees. So, But thankfully, it's, it's all good, because you can just plant mini forests, so <laughs> no problem at all. So, this is, because this is going to be a big construction it's going to take a, a lot of time so what I decided was rather than make um, about three episodes half an hour long of me just adding components to a structure which I don't think would be very entertaining f for any of you and you wouldn't really be learning anything because you know once you've seen me add some of it then I've got the point across and um, I don't want you to think that I'm just trying to waste your time because I know how precious it, is, precious it it is. So what I've decided is to split it to two 15 minute episodes and that way I can show you the start and the building and see how far we can get into it in 15 minutes. Then I will, just before I finish it, start the next part, which will be part two. So, has anyone there watching curious yet why this brick is glowing I mean how lovely does that look anyway I'm straying so we're gonna build ourselves a tower so before I start though on the episode I just want to say a thank you to Raigai and Rainstorm and a massive thank you to Tosh for because all three of them have started the indexing off um, all in their own unique ways as well um, but uh, it really is fantastic I mean Tosh he's done a whole one of the whole episodes and he's done several others as well parts of them it's just so so nice of, of you Tosh thank you very much for that really really is nice of you because every single person will benefit that watches them um, episodes in the future they're just really really lovely Right, so, okay, let's get started, shall we? The first consideration, okay, or the first thing I'd like to say to you, because you do know that I am trying, trying my best to be thorough with everything. This is a major construction. And before I tell you the components involved, I'll uh, let you sit down. You'll need to sit down for this. Now, first of all, you, you will not build a guard tower, okay, if you're not happy with the location that you're in. If you, if you know you're not going to stay there, then perhaps you w would not want to build a guard tower, okay. Once you find a, lo a location that you know you'll be happy at, because you've got clay and you've got um, all the resources that you like, you know, maybe you've got some tar or peat or something else as well, and you know you're going to stay there, then you will build a guard tower. Now you don't have to build guard towers, you don't have to do that, okay? It's just all the time that I've played this game, the progression path we've taken so far, thus far, is how I've always started. And I've got, my character's got pretty high, so I know that I'm doing something right. And I always build a beautiful guard tower. They are gorgeous. So, where would you place your guard tower? Would we place it right over the other side of the island? Would we place it on another island? Or would we place it somewhere logical? 
Well, I can also tell you in my experience, the best place that you would put your guard tower is as close to the entrance of your mine as possible. Now, what I will be doing is putting a, 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 a low stone wall around the mine so no um, creatures can get stuck in it or wander into it to surprise me while I'm happily mining or prospecting and I'll also have a I'm going to put perhaps a, a single tile house just there and I was discussing this in a previous video and you'll know why because I've told you because if there's a monster that follows me actually no I'll have a fence either side of that and then I'll put the, the single tile house here the guard tower is going to go there I'm hoping that uh, it will not obstruct a house on this tile hmm I didn't even actually think properly about that that's not good I can always put the house there and have a long fence yeah that's what I'll do but the guard tower is going to go there why because if I'm inside the mine and something attacks me I can call out for the guards to help me and they will instantly run into the mine and start attacking now there's some things I'd like to mention about a guard tower before I start putting it together with you first of all when you build a guard tower there is numerous skills that are going to improve with building it and they're all good skills namely masonry and stone cutting you are stone cutting just makes some it's, you're going to use stone cutting and you're going to use it a lot because it makes some amazing items in this game really it does there are some really good items and you know that you're going to want to build yourself some lovely cottage at some point or a nice house which we'll get, we'll get to but we aren't rushing there bear in mind you know this is like we're, we're gradually progressing gradually progressing as you know also you'll get your um, carpentry up a bit as well so as you can see I mean look that's still green even though I haven't used it for a bit but you're going to get some good skills up building this guard tower it is by no means a waste of time if you do decide to move on later to somewhere else guard towers have many uses one is the fact of course the, the best one which is that you get guards the second one of course is if you want to go off roaming into the wilderness you can do it gradually by building guard towers so you know you've got safe havens along the way now when you some important facts about a guard tower when you um, have a creature a, 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 an aggressive uh, creature try to attack you and you call the guards let's say it's a troll when you call the guards to the troll only two guards will come because we're saying that you've got the maximum amount if you call the guards again another two guards will come and if it's something like a crocodile or a troll you will call all the guards you've got be aware that the troll could possibly kill all the guards so retreat to your sanctuary in my case it's the enclosure and then just call them again if a monster has to be within 20 tiles of your guard tower for the guards to attack it okay um, something else important about a guard tower guard towers have to be 50 tiles apart you cannot build a guard tower side by side they have to be 50 tiles away before you can build another one so basically if our guard tower was there we would have to count one two and then etc count 50 tiles away then we can build another one I mean if you're not sure how many tiles away you just simply try and build one and if you're not allowed to the game will tell you it will say something like um, you can't continue the tower now another tower is too close to or too near I believe so just just to mention that 
Now, here's something else very interesting about the guard tower. For every 10 quality levels, you will get an extra guard. I believe it will start it starts with when you build a guard tower, if it's under 10 quality level, you will have one guard. When you get to 10 quality level, you'll get two guards. When you improve it up to 20 quality level, you will get three guards. It's it's a maximum of uh, five guards. So so um so we'll see anyway. It's a maximum of five guards. That's straight from Wormpedia. So I know it's a maximum of five guards. Now, if you manage to build a special tower, a rare tower, then you get an additional guard. You'll have up to six guards. And that's, that's really cool. I tell you, that's more than enough to sort out even a troll. A troll will usually kill three of your guards. And... If you've got six, as you know, or even five should get the job done, but I won't, uh, don't quote me on that. So, let's see, anything else I must mention? Yeah, guard towers can be destroyed with large mauls. Catapults will have no effect on them. Doesn't really affect you so much if you're on a private server, on, on your own. Um, because you aren't going to start trying to catapult your own tower. I mean, of course, I won't stop you if you wish to. You can try, but you'll see you don't do any damage to it. And if you want, if you wake up one morning with a bit of a grump and you want to get your large maul to it, by all means, go ahead. You can just repair it, I guess, as long as you don't totally destroy it. So, there we go with that. Right, okay, I think we are ready to start. So let's show you the components that we're going to be using to build our fantastic tower. I, this is one of my favourite items to build. Maybe not for most of you, but you, it, a guard, guard towers have saved my life more times than I can even mention to you. And they will for you as well. They're invaluable. Yes, you don't have to build a guard tower, as I said at the beginning. You could just use a deed. That's another episode, as you know, I've already told you that. We will get to deeds, and you can get a spirit, spirit Templar with a deed. Spirit Templars are stronger than Guard Tower Guards, but you'll only get one Spirit Templar. Whereas, as I've told you already, you can get up to five guards. I just like towers. You know, I'm just, I'm just an old lunatic, I guess. That, you know, just forgive me my lunacy and I shall forgive you yours. Right, now, to create a guard tower, okay, make sure you're sitting, you're sitting down. You will need, if I bring this up and bring this up, you will need a stone brick and a lump of clay to start, which we're going to. And then you will need a further 100 planks, 500 clay and 500 stone bricks. Now before you pass out with, or before you say, Gamester, you lunatic, there's no way that I'm gonna be doing all that. Trust me when I tell you it's n it is worth every last stone brick and every last bit of clay. It is just, a f you will get such a feeling of satisfaction because like, when you're wandering around your island, you will see that guard tower from a good long way off. You will know not only that that is where your base is, your settlement, you will also know that is where safety is. And you will not regret the hard work that it will take. But it, it, it's simple enough to build. I mean, making the components, yes, they're a bit monotonous, okay? I, I won't try and kid you about that. Like, you know, you're going to have to go dig 501 clay. But guess what? It will get your digging skill up so nicely. And then you can start to really have fun with the landscape. You can Your digging will get quicker. You will get extra benefits as your skill climbs at each level, as I've pointed out previously. Loads of benefits. Not to mention about your other skills you're going to get boosts to. So worth it. Uh, so you've got to dig the clay. Yes, you'll have to make 100 planks. That's easy. But your carpentry is going to go up as well. Look, look at this. You know, my skills are getting up so well. 39 it's now on. 
and bricks. Bricks is the one which will test your endurance. But, oh wow, I've been talking 15 minutes already. I'm going to carry on just a little to get started. So bricks will be the one that tests your endurance, but again, it will boost your masonry and your stone cutting. They are very, very important skills to get up, so it is fantastic. Right, let's quickly get started because I've waffled enough. Okay, forgive all the windows that are open. Let's try and clean this up a bit so you can see what's going on. Okay, so there's the items we need. So what we'll do, we'll activate the stone brick. We will then right click on the clay and create tower. And there's our beautiful guard tower. So here we go. Bang. Right. Notice it's 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 on one tile. Okay, it takes up one tile, but it will sort of outstretch a little over it to other tiles. But that's not a problem. When you place a guard tower, the direction you're facing is the direction the tower will be facing. But worry not if you don't know, because when you finish the tower, you are able, to, you will be able to rotate it. Okay, so you can move it around, not a problem. So, as you can see, there's our foundation to this fabulous construction that we're going to do. It's a big construct. It's your biggest one so far. I'm not trying to scare any of you off of this game, because you know, as you progress, you will see it's beautiful. Just trust me, okay? Learn to trust me. So, what we'll do, we right click, add to the crafting window. And now on the right is telling us all what we need. So let's just show you with a few of the components. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you sit there while I do them all. I'm just going to show you with a few. So let's first do a few planks. So we drop them in. Oh, I'm too far away. You do have to sort of get close to the tower when you're building it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we well, it's this 54% chance of building it, so I should think we wouldn't get too many failures. We should be okay. But this is all getting your skills up. Notice it's using the masonry skill. I might be adding planks, but it's still using the masonry skill. Masonry, you definitely want to get up. Whether you're on a private server, public server, or playing with someone else, at some point you're going to want to do tall stone walls because I've told you about all them psychopaths out there that play this so depending on what server you're on you're going to want to be hidden behind your big stone walls till you can get your fighting skills up with your lovely steel armor and all the rest of it but I'm getting ahead of myself again so you need masonry masonry does some fantastic stuff in this game I will be showing you some other items which really are nice to make they will make life so much easier right so there's some planks we put some planks in let's now put some clay in so what I want to do is I'm going to do a little test to show you something if I oh I'm trying to drag them out of the recipe window instead of the bulk storage bin but then you already know I'm an imbecile so that doesn't matter right okay let's grab 10 10 of these I'm not carry. Oh, goodness sake, I am losing the plot fast. Right, let's grab 10 of these. Okay, so, first of all, we'll add one clay. Okay, so let's drop one clay on there. And continue. Now, what I wanted to test was. Does it use the whole lump if we used, say, let's say we use three of them. Oh, combine the lot. Okay, let's drop that in there. We'll. S I'm doing a little test now to see if you can just lump it all together and, and continue. I'm really hoping it doesn't use the whole lump. I'll guess who's going to be back down there digging clay. But for you, the viewers, because you're all so lovely, I'll take the risk. Fantastic, it didn't use the whole lump. So there you go, you can 
grab it all out the bulk storage bin and it will just take a piece off at a time as it as it needs to so let's continue on sorry I know I've gone a bit quite a bit over that I must be on about 20 minutes but I'm only I'm gonna be done real shortly I just want to show you a little bit of clay a couple of bricks and then I'll call it there because you've got the how you I've shown you how to start this by the way all the components necessary you may notice that I have shown you how to make planks I've shown you how to make bricks and I've shown you how to dig clay so you know you all are capable of doing exactly what I've done here so let's grab a couple of bricks we'll put them on and then I'll call it an end to this episode this part of the episode that is okay so there you go we've got we got the numbers down a bit you don't need to sit here for a half a day watching me do this so I will see you shortly when I've managed to get this a bit further along the way Thank you ever so, so much for joining me for the first part, for episode 20, part 1. I will hopefully see you in part 2. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.